Welcome back to Fifth Gear in LA, where it's time to get back on the trail of the biggest story in US car culture, resto modding. In Southern California's San Fernando Valley, there's a boutique restoration company with a big reputation, Icon. Alongside the old girl I've been driving around in are a whole host of American classics awaiting the same resto mod treatment. None of these cars will come cheap, with prices starting in the region of $100,000. But the price hasn't put off the likes of Tom Hanks, David Letterman and Jonathan Ive, who all boast Icon Resto Mods in their car collections. Their latest work is this exquisite version of the legendary Toyota Land Cruiser FJ. It uses a 450 brake horsepower 5.7 litre V8, while the body has been finished in a special Teflon coating to make it even tougher than the original. The seats are covered in waterproof marine grade material, whilst the sun visors are the same specification as those on a Learjet. The main switch is a CNC machined aluminium, whilst the floor mounted dip switch is submersible rated. In fact, the icon is as near as you can get to a real-life Tonka toy. But can it really be worth ten times more than an original Toyota Land Cruiser? First, I'll check it out on the highway. It has to be said that like all old off-roaders, the FJ was a bit of a duffer on-road. But this icon conversion has transformed this vehicle. We've now got an extra 300 horsepower. We've shed nearly half a ton of weight. It'll get to 60 in about six and a half seconds. To cope with all that extra performance, we've now got disc brakes all round. The old cart springs have been thrown away in favor of modern coil springs. It's got a wonderful solid brake pedal. It's still got the old worm and screw steering, no rack of pinion, but it's fun, it's fast and it feels very secure. So it's been massively improved on-road, but has that compromised its ability off-road? This is the Angeles National Forest Park, and these are the Rower Flats, a popular hangout with local off-road enthusiasts. Icon boss Jonathan Ward has brought along an unmodified original FJ to help me see which is quicker when it comes to completing a section of the trail. Hi, right. good, good to see you. Sir. What have we got here? This looks rather pristine. This land is cruiser. a very nice vintage Land Cruiser. This, in fact, is what we call basically the Holy Grail Ooh. of the old Land Cruisers. So this is a 1983. They only made 250 of them. They were the very inner production, at least for North American delivery. And when, when did this shape of Land Cruiser finish then? These went all the way from 1958 to 1985 globally. So to compare this beauty with your modern icon, there's a little horrible, tortuous course of driving tips. Keep your thumbs on the outside. That's oh, your biggest yeah. problem, especially with these, because the steering wheel will rip your thumb right out if you don't. Uh, keep your foot in it. The gas pedal on this is more of an on-off switch than, <laughs> than a great well, issue. This is 135 power. horsepower. At the flywheel. Against 450. Yeah. First, I'll set a time in the old school Land Cruiser. Three, two, one, launch. Launch? Kind of launch. <laughs> I tell you what, I thought that the, the, uh, there'd be a lot more banging and bumping to it. it there it is. It's, it takes the bumps well. No, oh, they do girl. wonderful. They were legendary in their time and place. It's just modern drivers expect a whole different sort of relationship now. Like all off-roaders of this vintage, the original Land Cruiser feels a little ponderous by modern standards. Oh, I would have thought that. The steering is vague and acceleration is leisurely. But considering that the design is over 50 years old, it's coping pretty well in the hands of such a skillful driver. Oh, sorry, girl. Sorry, sorry. Up the hill now, girl. Come on, girl, come on. Oh, that poor thing, poor thing, poor thing. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Now, what about this big hill? Have I got, have I got any diff locks? No, sir, no diff locks. What? What? <laughs> What are, you have this we'll do something in navigation. Single transfer key switch. So what hard. is that now? What am I in now? Uh, you're now in low four. Into the setting, some we go. Come on, girl. Oh, please, come on. You can even see the please. road. Please, please, please. Oh, 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 I stuck that one. Two thirty-one. Oh. Next up is the icon. Look. 
funny how 450 horsepower makes you instantly more confident. It's got some wonderful grunt this thing, doesn't it? Yeah. Torque is your friend. Hard left for the pylons, preferably. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just this is your place. Right, I have the right foot. I thought you were a race car driver. I'm a race car driver. I'm not one of these. Hard left. This special edition celebrates the 40th anniversary of Toyota's first ever off-road win when an FJ took the famous Baja 1000 desert race from California to Mexico. It's hard not to channel some of that excitement even today. Oh, put your foot in it, son. Oh, the hard way. Oh, I love the sound of it. Oh, wow, wow, wow. It's like a rodeo. Just keep your hips loose. Yeah. What gears? Is that low range? Low Lock range. is on for the gnarly grade. Well, everything's locked. Everything's low here. 87 to 1 crawl ratio. No, no, no. <laughs> ah. And you made the course. Oh, there we go. In two minutes and 16.3 seconds, lad. <laughs> People do this for fun. Oh, yeah. All day. There's no doubt that the Icon is an exquisite blend of the vintage and the very fast. If you've got $150,000 to spare and are looking for a resto mod that can pound a mountain into submission, then this Baja FJ is for you.